in part three of the series, we're going to instruct the bot on how to attack the enemy. And then we're going to finish off with additional changes to the route navigation system. The next thing we want to create is a task to attack the enemy. So let's go to new, blueprint, BTT, task, BTT, bot, attack enemy. Let's open this up and let's start off with receive execute. Cast this to bot AI. Comment this. Get controlled pawn. Cast this to bot character. Now let's create two variables. These will be black port variables again. The first one will be enemy actor. Next will be state. And let's make these public variables. So let's get enemy actor. We want to get object. Pick this under here. And we want to check is valid. If it is valid, let's cast to character. Let's get state. Get as enum. Pick this under. You want to switch on bot state. And we want to finish execute. Make sure to check successful. And let's pull patrol and search to immediately finish. So now we need to change the state of the bot character itself. So let's do found enemy call function event found. Excuse me, enemy found event. And this will notify the character. And again, let's go to finish, execute. Instead, this time, we'll leave success unchecked. Next, we want to do is, if it's not, if it's not valid, we want to change the state. So let's set as enum to zero. Pick from here. And we want to pick from here as well. Now we want to call the other function enemy lost event. And now this will pick to finish successful. So let's pick these out. Finish successful. down and finish failed so that just means it's going to continue attacking 
to save this. So now we have our four tasks. And let's create two new tasks. The first one is one you're already familiar with, walk speed, BTT bot walk speed. Next will be BTT bot move to enemy. Lastly, BTT bot attack enemy. So let's space these out a little bit. And one thing I did wrong here, I made this a selector. This is when we should use our sequence so that these play in order. So let's do walk speed, move to enemy, and attack in that order. Let's add a decorator, call it for success. And we're going to change this to 4.5. When you go here, change the enemy actor to enemy actor and state to state. Lastly, we'll go here and enemy actor again and state to state. Under the sequence, we now want to add blackboard again. We want to change this to state. We want to do is greater or equal to search. So it's either searching or it's attacking, which will be handled only in this section. Now there's one last thing we have to add. That is the service. The services act like services on your computer. They're always running and always checking. And this is what tells it to either be in search or attack or patrol. And so let's quickly change this and let's create that service. Oh, you know what? I like this better. Attack and destroy. Yeah. It just it just resonates. I don't know. Let's save this for now. And let's actually let's create one more thing before we get into the service. Because the service is the heaviest one of them all. What we have to create is something for the route. And the route and this will be a decorator and it simply makes it make sure that once this is complete it updates to the next route and doesn't allow it to move to the next route until it's finally completed so let's go to new blueprint b t you see decorator select that b t d bot update route. Let's open this. It's like event receive condition check. Notice this one's slightly different. And finish condition check. Since we don't necessarily want to check the condition in this decorator because there's multiple different options so in this decorator, we want to check when the execution has finished. So when it's finally moved and finished the final steps. So finish. Event receive execution finish. And this will be the last thing it's called before it moves to the next task. We want to do switch on results. We want to add in 
one blackboard variable, and this would be the route. You want to get set as int let's pull this up here when it says succeeded let's update it another thing we, we have to do is get as int and then we're just going to simply add a plus one so integer plus integer put one pick it there so condition check update route finish execution And you see how these different blueprint tasks communicate with each other. Very similar, slightly different. Different purposes. Now that your bot is able to attack and navigate the mesh appropriately, in the next piece, we're going to create the brain behind the bot.